Hey everyone, do you ever find yourself doing tasks for others quickly and efficiently, but when it comes to doing something for yourself, you procrastinate and put it off? I used to be just like that. My dad would ask me to do something, and I'd get it done right away. My boss would give me a deadline, and I'd meet it without fail. But when it came to my own goals and tasks, I struggled to stay on track. Why is it that we respect others' demands more than our own? Why do we not take ourselves as seriously as we take our dad or boss? It's a common issue, and today I want to talk about how to overcome this and start respecting our own commitments just as much as we respect those given to us by others. Let me start by sharing a personal story. A few months ago, I was in the same boat. I'd tell myself, this Saturday, I'm definitely going to make that video. Saturday would come and go, and there'd be no video. It wasn't that I didn't want to do it, I just kept pushing it off. Procrastination had become my best friend. I realized that I was great at meeting deadlines and fulfilling commitments when they came from someone else. But when it was just me, I found it hard to follow through. I wanted to understand why. And then it hit me. It wasn't entirely my fault. When we do the same thing repeatedly, we often get tired and lose motivation. But here's the kicker. We need to remember why we started that task in the first place. What's the goal? What do we hope to achieve? Keeping that end goal in mind can help us stay motivated. External motivation, like a pep talk from someone else, might get you going for a few days, but it fades. Internal motivation, though, is different. When you remember your why, you can stay consistent. Think back to five years ago. Did you have a goal in mind for where you wanted to be today? Are you there now? Chances are, you might not be. And that's probably because you didn't stay consistent. You didn't take your own goals seriously. Life is short. Really short. Blink. And a decade can pass by without you even realizing it. Remember how quickly time seemed to fly by? One moment you were in your 20s, and the next, you're nearing your 30s. It's a wake-up call. If you don't start taking your own commitments seriously now, you might find yourself looking back with regret. So, how do we change this? How do we start respecting our own deadlines and goals? First, treat your personal goals with the same urgency and respect as you do tasks given by others. Imagine your future self as your boss or your dad. When you set a deadline for yourself, think of it as non-negotiable. Second, break down your big goals into smaller, manageable tasks. If your goal is to get fit, start by committing to just 10 minutes of exercise a day. Gradually increase it as you build the habit. Third, create a routine and stick to it. Consistency is key. Even if you don't feel like doing something, push yourself to do it anyway. Over time, it will become a habit, and habits are powerful. Fourth, track your progress. Write down what you want to achieve and check off your accomplishments. Seeing your progress on paper can be incredibly motivating. Fifth, reward yourself. When you achieve a milestone, give yourself a treat. It could be something small like a favorite snack or something bigger like a day off to relax. Sixth, surround yourself with positive influences. Hang out with people who inspire you and encourage you to stay on track. Share your goals with a friend who can hold you accountable. Lastly, be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up if you slip up. Everyone does. What's important is that you get back on track and keep going. To sum it up, the key to taking your own goals seriously is to respect yourself as much as you respect others. Remember why you started, stay consistent, and reward yourself along the way. Life is too short to live with regrets. Start today and show the world and yourself who you truly are. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.